guys, so a couple questions I've been asked about VIP Kid. Things like, are they legit? Uh, are backdrops necessary? Do we need props? <music> Things like, are they legit? Yes, they are. They were rated number one by Forbes. Number one work from home job by Forbes in 2018. So that's cool. Other questions, uh, are backdrops necessary? Yes, they want you to have an educational background of some sort. If it's not educational, I, I did an, attend a workshop where they said they can also be plain. Like if you're traveling, have a plain background. And some teachers have like a felt piece that they take with them where they have some felt pieces that stick to it. You can also have, for my interview, I didn't have this. I don't remember what I had. It was very minimal and they said to do more. So you want something. Some teachers have just a poster and that's okay. They want it to be dedicated to VIP kid or dedicated to teaching educational, that type of thing, professional. Like what I'm teaching with now probably wouldn't be. It'd be too distracting. Sorry, I make videos wherever I sit. They do want it to be dedicated to teaching. Props. Do we need props? Yes, you do. To pass the mock interviews and the application, you will want props to teach with. I hear different numbers. A safe is three to five different types of props. Flat things count as one. So flashcards are one thing. If you have three flashcards, that's one prop. You want usually a puppet and a whiteboard are two good samples. Is this I got at the dollar, dollar Tree. I also have one that's a frame where I just took out, and this one's a pretty cheap one. I'm an artist, so I have lots of frames around. And they want either a puppet or a stuffed animal or something. And then also things that go along with the lesson. So I have, there we go. So I'll be teaching a grass, an insect lesson. So I have a grasshopper. So for the mock interviews, you will want more. Once you actually get the job, you can tame it down quite a bit. I think the mock interviews tend to be more stressful and you're grabbing for things and all sorts of stuff. And it's, for me, for the mock interviews, I think they're a little more stressful because you want a lot of props and you want to show that you are showing your absolute best. You are showing all of your creativity. You are showing that you can be resourceful. You can find things from around the house. You're showing that you can, if there's toys, you can show little kids toys. Also teaching older kids, you'll use fewer props. And so also another question is, what is this reward? So in VIP Kid, there are stars that you give during classes. Those won't be in the mock interviews. Those won't be in anything until you're actually teaching a live class. So there are stars that you're giving the kids. They act like currency so the kids can actually use those stars to buy something. They're a big deal in the class. But you want something separate. There's also a page on a lot of the slides. Not all of them, but a lot of them have a reward slide. Those can be kind of tricky and confusing. Um, so a lot of teachers suggest, and I, I do as well, have your own prop, uh, have your own reward system. It can be something simple. For my mock interviews and for my younger kids, I'm gonna do this. I had a 10 year old boy where like you, got, you get colors of paint when you get the thing right. Um, and it's a great way to do colors. For my next class, I'm going to be either doing um, like the find the star game. If you go online, there's tons and tons of videos. There's tons and tons. So YouTube has some great examples and also Facebook has some groups. So when you're a te like when you're in there, you'll be okay. Something simple for your interview will get you through. There are great options like friends, friends. Um, there's some issues with church. So that's why I'm covering up the, like the prayer part. But, um, but if you have a book, a, a children's book with friends on it, you could do friends. Also headset. Um, you do want a headset. You can get one from Walmart. Um, I got mine from Ross. If you have a Ross or like a discount type store, I think that's a great deal. Mine is not the one that you see in my photographs, but it, I have just a, it's the Shadow Soul Republic, S-O-L Republic Shadow um, Wireless. And I love it. It's a little pricey. I got it at Ross for $25. So the original price is pretty pricey. I like it. I'm not too picky. Um, I've heard great things about the Walmart $15, $12, $9 headsets. Um, I do not have a webcam. I just use the camera on my computer. At some point, I probably will get a webcam because I think the lighting will be better. I don't have the greatest lighting setup and I can't do a front light because it gives, like, I, have, I get migraines. And so I have to do the side lighting options, which are pretty ghetto. <laughs> One of my side lights, it is a piece of foam core from the dollar store. I have other foam core, but it's, um, yeah, it's cut up in smaller pieces, so there's a dollar store one uh, bouncing off of an art light. You can see I'll turn it on. That reflects it. And then those lights up there are pretty decent. And then I have a big overhead light as well.
All of my light are the white natural light um, for painting, but also for you want the white color light. Right now I have no lights on. I'm just filming uh, with the light from outside. I have two windows in this room. Yes, so I am working on a prop list to pass your classes and for the mock interviews and that will get you quite a bit of te get you quite a ways um, on a budget. So if you're interested in that and you want to, if you're thinking about applying, you're like, oh, I don't know about this. If you want to use my referral link, I will send you the prop list and a bunch of informa information, uh, PDF files that you can print uh, for those first few classes. Also, I'll have some stuff for your background um, that I am working on as well. So this video won't go up, but by the time this video goes up, I will be done with all of the materials that I have. And so then so you can use my referral code for those. Those are some of the biggest questions that I'm asked. Um,